हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स सो लुक एट द सेंटेंस व्हिच आई हैव रिटन हियर द टीचर ग्रेडेड द पेपर्स देन द पेपर वेयर ग्रेडेड बाय द टीचर्स द डॉग चेस द कैट द कैट वाज चेस बाय द डॉग्स सो कैन यू फाइंड आउट एनी डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू सेंटेंस लुक एट दिस इन दिस सेंटेंस हियर दिस इज इन द सिंपल पास्ट द टीचर ग्रेडेड द पेयर्स बट in the second sentence the paper were graded by the teachers have you any identify any difference between two sentence so like this this the chief the chef cooked the meal the meal was cooked by the chef there is some difference between the two sentence yes or no yes so when this type of sentence or this type of tense is changed in the sentence and for, and this is the first form of the verb and this is the third form of the verb so this is in the passive form this is in the active form and this is called the passive form okay so the, now look at the third example the singer performed the song this is the simple past we know then the song was performed by the singer so this is the passive form of the verb and this is the passive voice of the sentence okay so my dear students today we will explain what is the meaning of the passive voice and active voice why how can we convert the direct uh, active sentence into passive sentence and what are the rules we will all discuss in this video so i think all of you understand this so let's start our topic okay the active and passive voice today we will discuss what is the meaning of the first what is the meaning of active and passive voice and first we will see what is the meaning of what is the meaning of voice so my dear students this is wrongly written as the meeting the not this is this is the meaning okay wrong is sorry this is the meaning okay meaning of voice look at this the voice shows whether the subject perform the actions or the subject receive the actions so what is the meaning of the voice voice means here first we have to identify which is the subject after that we will identify whether the subject performs the action performs the actions or the subject receive the action okay so look at the example here is written sahil writes a letter who is subject here first we will find it is subject it is verb and it is object okay so in this sentence sahil perform the action sahil writes a letter but if we see in the second sentence a letter is written by sahil here sahil subject it becomes the object and which is object in the first sentence that becomes the subject of the sentence so we can say that in this first sentence here the subject perform the action and in the second sentence subject receive the action so this is the for voice or the we see the passive form of the voice all of you understand this first we have to understand what is which is subject and which is verb and which is object then we can convert their positions so his object verb subject object will be subject here and subject will be object here this cross multiplication like this will be in the passive form okay here this will be subject this will be object then convert this this subject comes to this side and object comes to this side and verb takes its own position according to their tense okay so in our english there is there are two voices are there first is active voice when the subject of the verb acts and it is called active voice and passive voice means when the subject of the verb receive the action that is that is called passive voice understood my dear students then what are the things we should keep in mind for, while we have to while we have to convert into passive voice first look at this this is the beautiful diagram here first changes in the, what are the changes made in passive voice look at this first object to subject subject to object by before the object and helping verbs will be changed and tense change will be there then always there will be third form of the verb then this is this is the change of pronoun so these are the things we have to convert or we have to change in the passive voice okay so these are some um, rules i have written look at this first what are the things we have to keep in mind while 
changing into passive verbs first identify the subject and object in the first i have already explained first our first task is we have to identify which is subject and which is object then interchange the subject and object with each other we have to interchange like this so at by before the object of the passive voice then change the main verb of main verb to third form always in the passive voice we have to change the third form of the verb okay then before uh, then uh, was we are been been before the main verb make the change of the pronoun then we have to change the make we have to change the pronouns after that we have to change the tense also okay so now come to this what are the pronouns we have to change in the active and passive voice now we will see it will be remain as it in pronouns these are the pronouns these are the active voice pronouns and these are the passive voice pronouns then i becomes me we us you 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 becomes same he him she her they them so these are the some pronouns we have to change in our passive voice okay okay then some sentence in the active form with passive meaning look at this these clothes needs washing means already these are the sentence in passive form no need to change it okay these clothes need to be washed the room requires washing we can't change into a passive form because these sentence are already in passive form so these things are also come then this is the one of the most important thing change the interrogative sentence into passive first auxiliary verb look at this this if you understand the steps then you can also easily find complete it listen so did the hunter kill bird yesterday so in which tense this is as did is in the first tense first so we can see that it is in the past simple okay we can identify this is the in, this is in past tense next next see change into declarative sentence what in the first step what we will do change into declarative form so what will be the declarative form the hunter as did is here the hunter killed the bird yesterday okay we will add ed then changing the active form killed into passive form was killed then what we will do we can convert into passive sentence like look at this the bird we can identify the object the bird as it is past simple was killed yesterday okay then here it is not not necessary to use by the hunter because uh, bird was we know that by the hunter will be the hunter kill the bird okay then step 3 change into question form what i have written here the bird was killed yesterday we have to convert into question format because our question, our question is in the question format so this is the um, passive sentence now convert into question format okay so what will be here what will be the answer first was will be here was then subject the bird killed yesterday okay so this is our answer so look at the answer was the bird killed yesterday okay my dear students all of you understood this first what you will do find out in which tense it is if this is past tense then convert into simple past then after that you will convert into the passive form after converting into passive form you will make the sentence into the interrogative or question format uh, as we have in the auxiliary form so uh, take auxiliary form into first form then as ever what is there that will be remain this okay then next uh, change the ws sentence into passive form this is also important fact like uh, auxiliary verb question format this is also same thing this the pattern is also same like this look at this first who wrote this book it is ws format who wrote this book my dear students if there is the who is there in the sentence you can convert into passive by by whom by whom remember this if who is there in the question format in the passive form you will do by whom and other the who questions like what where how whom 
all the ws formats will be same as in the question format okay only if there is who is there you can convert into by who okay so like this who wrote this sentence what will be the first form first changing the sentence to declarative form we can convert into declarative form someone means in in the place of who we can write someone wrote this book okay next changing the active verb wrote into passive form we can change into passive form no, no. what will be there the this book was written by somebody okay this is the passive form of the sentence then what you will do now the book was written by whom we can replace somebody by who or whom to find out our answer replace this replacing somebody by who or whom so by whom then was i know that near the question format we should put one auxiliary verb is there so was by whom was then subject this book written okay so what will be the answer by whom was this book written or or we can say that who was the book written okay my dear students like the auxiliary verb two steps you have to remember then you can convert it first convert into declarative sentence then second convert into passive voice then convert into question format okay so like this some examples i have written look at this examples how did you how did you work out that sum like this so one sentence one example i have come i will solve here how did you work out that sum what will the declarative form you how did you work out that sum how was the acha okay so you you worked out worked 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 out that sum okay then that sum was worked out then how was that sum worked out step by step you can you can solve solve the step step by step they can you can easily understand this like this you can do this why was he beat his servant so answer will be why was his servant beaten you can do it in your in you can do it because if you do it then you can easily understand okay so in my formula step by step if you understand then you can solve it okay so when these are the say examples mind your students i think all of you understood this first what is the important things in this active and passive verb remember the rules and remember the pronouns of change then remember the tense pattern and uh, and what in which part you will face some problem in question format so uh, remember the two or three steps then you can easily understand this okay so there are some other examples or other things in your book in second part i will uh, solve it so i think all of you understand this if you don't understand write in your write me in comment box i will explain it okay so my dear students thank you all god bless you